Hey everybody, this is Evan from Nub's Nook. I've got Nubette here, and we're going to talk a little bit about elderly hamster care. Um, so more specifically, oh my chair creaked. More specifically, um, cage setup and a little bit of dietary information. Not a whole lot, but um, so I have Nubette here, and she is in her senior hamster cage which is a 40 gallon aquarium and you will notice that she has lots of hiding places but no platforms um, because it's actually a little bit oh she looks like she might be going back to bed it's a little bit safer for elderly hamsters um, not to have platforms and things in their cage because there is that risk as they get older they lose their sense of balance and uh, there is that risk of them falling off now, thankfully, I do have some taller houses in Nabette's habitat. Like she's got one right over there. I trust her uh, not to fall off of things. However, um, Alexander, who is also known as Nub, um, he is two years, five months old, which is about 95 in hamster years. And he is a very, very wobbly little fella. He's very wobbly. We think he's probably going blind. Um, he's a sweetheart. He's wonderful. But he is very, very old now. And I don't believe that he can have platforms in his cage. And that's how a lot of hamsters are as they get older. Um, oh, we're also going to talk about hair loss today. I just noticed. Um, we're not going to talk too much about Nabette's hair loss. Because she has something else weird going on. Uh, we went, uh, it was mites, I think, but we got her treated for that, and it slowly seems to be getting better. Um, it goes back and forth, which is odd, but it seems to be getting better. So, hamsters normally will lose their fur just a bit. I think something's going on with my camera here. Yeah, this should be straight. Um, hamsters would normally lose their fur just a bit as they get older. However, if you see something like what she's got going on, let's see, oh, she turned around, so you can't really see you very well, but um, maybe she'll move for us in a minute. If you see a hamster that has something that, that uh, where they have a significant amount of hair loss, um, if you have a vet that you trust, that you know is going to be good with hamsters, take them to the vet. Um, if you don't, take them to the vet, try other vets, unless, um, the only, the only times when I would say don't take your hamster to the vet, um, if you believe that there's something wrong with them, is if you know for certain that your vet is completely incompetent, um, then obviously don't take them to that vet, uh, which, sadly, a lot of vets don't do well with small animals. Um, I remember taking Alexander to the vet last year, and the lady that I went to, I'm not going to say any names because I don't really want to, I don't want to mess with her career um, at this point in time. I don't, I might say her name later, but um, she... I talked to the lady on the phone and I brought Alexander in because I thought it was an emergency. It turned out that it definitely was not. Um, but I talked with the receptionist and she told me that the vet was very skilled with small animals and she took care of hamsters all the time. And I went in there and uh, she basically was not. She held him in a way that I wasn't comfortable with. She wasn't very careful with him. She bathed him in water, um, which experienced hamster no owners know that you should never bathe your hamster in water, um, at least not unless there's extreme, extreme circumstances, um, because it can stress them out a lot, and it, it's usually, it's not, it's not necessary. It's not worth it. Um, it stresses them out a lot. It can cause wet tail from the stress, and uh, nobody wants wet tail, because that can be deadly. Um, anyways, what was I talking about? 
Oh, I was talking about her hair loss. So yeah, elderly hamsters have a little bit of hair loss, but nothing like that. That's not normal. Um, but little Miss Nabette doesn't... She's not normal. She's not your typical hamster. Um, as she tries to knock over her house. Uh, let's see. I feel like... There we go. Oh, that's... Sorry about that. Now the camera's a little straighter, I think. Um, crud, where were we? I'm sorry. This isn't a very professional video. <laughs> As you can see, I'm still getting everything set up here. Um, we're still getting lighting set up. We're still getting audio set up. And I don't know what Nabet is doing over there. She's climbing some sort of zoom out here. Still getting everything set up. So anyway, back to elderly hamster care. Um, other things that are important to keep in mind as they get older and they might go blind, things like that. Why is she going nuts all of a sudden? That's weird. Um, you need to make sure that you keep things like their food and water. Uh, and actually, food, water, house, and wheel in about the same place uh, because it will be much easier for them to find it and if you don't then it can be very difficult and very stressful for them. Um, wheels is another topic when it comes to elderly hamsters. A lot of people say that you should remove the wheel from their cage. Others say that you should keep it in. Um, personally, I'm an advocate of leaving the wheel in the cage for as long as you can. Um, oh, she really is just drawing her cage, isn't she? Um, because it will help them to be able to continue to move, and I believe that it will help them with uh, muscle, like continued uh, muscle growth and making sure that they stay strong. Um, the reason that Nabette does not have a wheel right now is quite simply because she broke hers. So I need to get her another one. Um, she hasn't had a wheel for the majority of her life anyway. Uh, that's not because of anything that I've done. That is, um, when I got her, she was not young. I don't remember exactly how old she was. But she had never had a wheel before. She was living in a teeny tiny little... It was like a travel cage. It, it was bad. Um, and she had another another hamster in there with her, which, if you know about Syrian hamsters, they are solitary creatures. They are never supposed to be kept together, um, even if you're breeding them, which I do not recommend that anybody breed hamsters unless you know exactly what you're doing because you can end up with weird genetic defects and horrible, horrible things can happen. Um, but uh, she actually has a piece of her ear that has been pulled or like chopped off, like bit off, I guess, in a fight. Um, and she's very skittish. When she came to me, she was very, very nervous, very skittish, um, wasn't really tame maybe a little bit, like she didn't really bite, but she certainly was not comfortable with people. Um, she's been so cute. So yeah, I'm sorry, I keep going off on tangents, this video is kind of a mess. Um, oh, elderly hamster nutrition. Something that is really important as, ha elder as hamsters get older. Um, Make sure you continue to feed them. A lot of people don't know this. You're supposed to feed hamsters fresh foods. Um, and I'm going to make another video talking about that. But hamsters need to um, have fresh foods, like fresh fruits and vegetables. And little bits of boiled chicken is my personal favorite uh, protein supplement to give to hamsters because they love it. They absolutely love it. They don't need much, and you should definitely not have the chicken seasoned with anything, but they love little bits of like boiled chicken or uh, just plain chicken. 
Um, another good thing is mealworms. Now you have two options with mealworms. You can go for dried, which is what I like to do because I don't like having to deal with live things. Um, but they're not as nutritionally complete, they're not as great for your hamsters as live mealworms. Um, if you get live mealworms though, you need to make sure that you crush the head of mealworms uh, before, they, before you give them to your hamsters because they will pouch them and then the mealworms when they're inside the pouch can actually bite and injure your hamster. So if you ever feed live mealworms, make sure you smash the heads of those mealworms so they won't really be live anymore. Um, but yeah, dry, dry food is great for hamsters. You, you want to have that steady dry mixture or lab blocks depending on what type of food that you have. Um, but you also need to supplement it with things like chicken, oatmeal, green beans, there's a ton of hamster safe, quote unquote, human foods that they can eat. Um, and it's great for them. I know that Alexander acts much more perky. He is much happier when he has fresh foods. Um, so like when I don't, when I forget or when I don't end up giving them fresh foods and they, they get a little bit slower, they're not, they, they just don't seem quite as happy. So. Uh, plus, imagine if you had to eat the same thing all the time, every day of your life. You wouldn't really like it, and I don't think they do either, so... Um, let me think, what else was I going to talk about here? Um, as your hamster gets older, you are going to notice that they do have a little bit of hair loss, and yes, I keep going back to this, because I keep forgetting things, um, and when you start to notice this, Supplementing your diet with just a teeny tiny little bit, or not supplementing, like putting in their diet just a teeny tiny little bit of either debitter de brewer's yeast or nutritional yeast, which you can find at the, like most health food stores. Oops. And I've got some right here, which is a crazy huge thing of it. But uh, let's see if it'll focus. There we go. A now nutritional yeast powder. Um, I use a teeny tiny little bit of that, maybe an eighth of a teaspoon, every couple of days, and I just kind of put it on top of their food in their bowl. Sometimes I mix it in with the wet food. And it seems to be helping with the hair loss a little bit. It definitely seems to help with uh, anxiety issues with the, uh, with the hamsters. They seem calmer. It's supposed to be very good for their immune systems. A bit went over here. Um, yeah, it's great for their immune systems, it's great for their, um, it's a natural de-stressor, and it's, it's good for hair growth. Uh, let me think, if there's anything else I forgot, I have a little list here. Um, hamsters are considered senior at 18 months or a year and a half, um, there she is, and after that they generally decline a little bit. Um, Nabette actually has been doing really well. She got thinner, She used to. she's always been kind of chubby and now she's a little bit back to normal weight, maybe a little underweight, um, but that's kind of to be expected with elderly hamsters, they have a tendency to be a little underweight. Um, uh, other than that, I think that's it. This video is really long. It's way longer than I intended it to be. I'll probably go back and redo it at another point in time. If you've stuck around this long, um, you can check out uh, check out Nub's Nook on Instagram. I'm gonna have a link in the description. Um, I also have an Etsy shop where I sell liners and things for guinea pigs, so if you have guinea pigs and you're looking for fleece liners, check out the description. Um, and of course you can follow us on Twitter and Facebook, 
And again, those links will be in the description below. So, uh, thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, have a great day.